So I've just left out a pile of random products and we're just gonna have a wee play. This is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I've been really loving this recently. I've just went back to using it. More so just to get it used up actually because I've had it for quite some time. But it actually is really nice. I think I've put it a wee bit too much on. It doesn't pour full or anything, but it just leaves like a really nice base. For your foundation. And I love the wee glow and dew that it gives to the skin without being too much. I might actually mix these two foundations but we'll see anyway i have quite a dark tan on at the minute and obviously nothing on my face it's completely washed off so i have the makeup forever ultra hd foundation and the nars light reflective foundation in punjab i'm gonna try the makeup forever one first i think <laughs> i think the makeup forever one will match my th the rest of my body perfectly but it's just a bit of a contrast right between my face and my neck Oh, I just can't wait to begin. I have that Lion King song stuck in my head. Is anybody else's free page on TikTok at the minute just that video or videos of Northwest singing the Lion King song? <laughs> this foundation is looking quite nice actually. I usually don't like the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I could never get on with it and I don't know why it just... I just I never really liked it. I think because it's mixed with the NARS foundation, it's looking better. So for cream bronzer, this is the Refai cream bronzer. <laughs> it's in the shade tan. Now I'm gonna try this again. Every time I use this, it always seems to go a bit too red on me. So I'm gonna try it again and see. It's weird because I think the last couple of times I used this, it looked really nice on either my forehead or my cheeks. And then it was either my forehead or my cheeks <laughs> that it looked or it came off too red looking. So I'm going to see. Like I really like this cream bronzer. I really like the formula of it and it's really nice and easy to blend. But it's just the colour has always been too off for me. Oh and by the way, excuse my hand if you can see that by the way. Can you see that? And like my arm. Oh my god! <laughs> like my arm! So basically a couple weeks ago I got a really bad sunburn to the point where my arm actually swole up. It was actually hilarious. Um, not fun at the time, but <laughs> yeah, I get really really bad in the sun. My wee Irish skin just kind of hack it. It's obviously at the point where it's starting to like fleck and stuff. I had on my tan last week, so it's looking good. <laughs> Gonna blend out this concealer a wee bit. First of all, not the whole way, but just blend it out a wee bit. I don't know what it is though, I'm just the most pathetic person in the sun. <laughs> I've never in my life had a real tan, like ever. I think I just reached my late 20s and I just, I stopped. Like I just stopped caring. I stopped trying to get a natural tan. Made by Mitchell of Blush. This is a shy boy. I never know how much of this to put on. That'll do yes. Let me see, there's probably gonna to be too much. <laughs> this is a lot of makeup. <laughs> I'm not even done yet. Uh. It's so weird how whenever, as soon as I have a tan on, I instantly go cake face. Um, I'm gonna get my foundation sponge and just do a wee bit of blend. There we go, that should be fine. I'm gonna set my under eyes and mainly my T-zone with this Kaleidos powder. This way, Jouet highlighter. This is the Rose Quartz. So we have a new dog in the family. <laughs> if you see my Instagram story on Saturday, taking a shy boy from Maybe Mitchell, the powder version. If you see my Instagram stories on Saturday, you would have seen that Kyle's parents got a new pup. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm so not a dog person. <laughs> it's just like, oh, cute. 
cute. <laughs> so it's basically a mix between a German Shepherd and a Malinois. So they already have a couple of German Shepherds. So they kind of know the breed well enough, you know. But, um, oh, it's a cute wee thing. Gonna take a wee bit of the P. Louise I should have made. So I was going through the drawers where I have my mini and small eyeshadow palettes and I came across this wee palette here. Whoa, look how orange my face looks. Mm -hmm. So I've never used this wee palette before and it's by the brand ZC. And look at the packaging. It's beautiful. I have quite a few of these wee palettes. I've sent these in PR. God, back whenever I lived at my mum's house. But it is the Fireworks 16 color eyeshadow palette. And that's the shades there. I've used one of the palettes and I think it was actually like an Egyptian theme. Well, this is kind of like an Egyptian theme as well, actually, sorry. But it was in collaboration with the British Museum. It was beautiful. So I think I'm going to use some of the, the red-ish shades and tones. What do I have along those lines, shall we? Oh my god. That shade is beautiful. Oh, it doesn't swatch nice. Ugh! Catfish, I just got catfished by an eyeshadow. That eyeshadow looked beautiful until I swatched it. Maybe not. So I'm gonna take this shade here. I actually think I'm just gonna pop this all over the lid, by the way. It's kind of like a brown shimmer. <laughs> it has like a smidgen of like a red undertone to it. This could be nice. Oh yeah. Well that's pretty actually. Yeah, so I'm just gonna pop this just all over the lid. I feel like today isn't like the best day for me to sit and film on a makeup tutorial, but then at the same time, I feel like this is nearly therapy for me. It takes my mind off things. But I'm just having one of those days where I'm just really easily agitated. It's just, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. There's just a couple of few things in my personal life as well that has happened over the past couple of weeks and I'm just not happy about. I'm not going to get into it too much, but asking for a friend that I don't have, at what age do you stop cutting ties with so-called friends? What age do you stop losing friends? Because that's one of the situations that I'm going through at the minute. And it's just, it's shit. And I just, I don't know what to do with the situation. But at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> tell me this. Leave me a comment down below and tell me, like, what is a friendship lesson that you learned in a hard way? Okay, so I'll take that same brush. I'm going to get dust off whatever excess is on it. And I'm going to go around those edges because those edges are looking pretty sharp. Just going to go around and just going to give them a wee bit of a blur and just diffuse them a wee bit. So as far as I know, like this is just going to be like the only colour in my shade I'm going to put on the lids. I might actually check my drawers and see if I have a couple of wee shimmer shades somewhere. Or like, sorry, pigments. To go on top of this but hopefully because this is a shimmer I feel like I'm going against the rules of makeup right not that makeup has any rules but it's just you know uh, makeup has a theory <laughs> there's a theory behind it but with this being a shimmer I'm kind of blending it within the crease hopefully it's okay I would love to know who has just drove into my driveway Shall I panic now or panic when they bang the door? <laughs> I think what else has also been playing on my mind is the videos that were going around the internet last night of what's happening in Gaza at the minute and it's absolutely heartbreaking. So basically I think it was like four days ago Israeli forces or whatever had said or instructed that Palestinians could go to this area and it would be like a safe zone, a safe space. And they bombed it. Hmm. They bombed that exact location. And I think the majority of us seen the videos right of the child and the bodies and everything and Jesus Christ like it's just 
just is absolutely heartbreaking. It really, really is. It never, in my eyes, it never was a war. But this is just genocide happening all over again. And I've seen so many tweets um, saying about how the generation after us are going to be looking at us and kind of saying like, what did you do to stop this? Um, because it's so true, like we look at Congo and we look at, say, Auschwitz and the Nazis and stuff, and it's like, we can never let that happen again. And look what's happened in Congo, again. And then obviously look what's happened now in Gaza. It's, it's heartbreaking. You probably saw none of that. <laughs> you probably had a beautiful view of my head. <laughs> I just put in this Colourpop liner in my waterline. I also had a wee bit of a nosy through my pigments, my glitters. Find this. This is the Colourpop Super Shot Shadow in the shade Revolution. I think this is going to look really pretty on top of everything. Oh, will you see this? Will you see this? Oh, this is actually so freaking pretty. I am loving this eye makeup look. So simple, right? Just a shimmer eyeshadow and this super shock shadow on the lid oh i'm gonna put a wee bit of this also on the lower lash line as well so i'm gonna take a fluffy brush how beautiful is these two shadows together like this super shock shadow here from colourpop is beautiful it's the Ultra Glitter Super Shock Shadow in the shade Revolution, as I had said. Stunning. Gonna do a wee bit more on the lower lash line. Okay, so this is Hopti, Hopti, Hopti from Colourpop. Also from Colourpop, this is over here, lipstick. Oh shit, that's really dry. <laughs> I'm going to try this Shimmer Bomb. I love days like this whenever I just go into a makeup tutorial, not really knowing what I'm doing, having a bit of a play here and there. And I just end up loving the makeup look and even more so whenever it's just, it's simple. Just a bit of shimmer shadow all over the lid. A glitter or a pigment or another wee pressed shadow. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.